My brother's treatment has been probably the single most important and influential event in my life, which is a crazy thing to say, but it's so true because it changed my formative years. What was a wonderful and carefree childhood became very traumatic very quickly. My brother was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma, a childhood cancer, at the age of three, nearly four. My dad has always been full disclosure, and he was always very clear that your brother could die from this. We're trying our best to make sure that that doesn't happen, but you know, it's always going to be a possibility. That made it all very real to me, I think. I think I dealt with the lack of normalcy, the best way like a nine-year-old knows how to. Going to the school counselor and talking with her about, I don't, I don't know what these feelings are and I don't want to go to school, I don't want to do things um, that I normally found enjoyable. I think that was the, the touch of, this is, this is really tough for me. I felt jealous of my brother's treatment and my brother's special attention and that um, he got to be with, it was, it was, there was a strange dichotomy. I knew that he needed my parents and I knew that he needed the attention, but at the same time, sometimes I wished it was me. And that's such a weird thing to wish as a kid, but you know, I try to look back on, on that child Sophie with, with not a lot of judgment, but you know, there were times when I, when I really wished that it was me and not him and for selfish and selfless reasons. I don't remember the dust ever really settling after my brother's treatment. I was overjoyed, but there's no way to finish a child's cancer treatment and go back to things being the way that they were. The things to know about siblings of kids with cancer is that they're, they're struggling to keep it together, to make sure that their parents aren't having to worry about them. They keep a lot hidden, and it, you may not see any of the effects of that during that child's, your, your sick child's treatment. It may be years down the road because I'm still working through those, those issues and it seems crazy because that was, I don't know, 15 years ago, but there are issues that stay with you forever. So I think just making sure that you understand that your, your healthy child is going through a journey of his or her own that they may not understand, but they need support and guidance. If you can find some kind of expert or professional that can help them, do it.